All right, so this happens all the time. I find something on Facebook Marketplace. I ask them if it's available. They say yes, and they always say they don't know what the specs are. They don't know how to turn it on. They don't know the password. One of those excuses, they don't know what it is. And sometimes you just take a look at it, and you roll the dice, and you just go with it. And that's pretty much what happened with this guy right here. Saw it on Facebook Marketplace. They said they've had it forever. They don't know what it is. They don't know what the years are or what the specs are. And when they turn it on, there's a password that they don't know what it is. So that's where we're sitting. I paid 50 bucks for it, picked it up. Like I said, I'm rolling the dice. You're going to find out the same time I do what I ended up getting and if it was worth it or not. So let's check this thing out. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery. Today we're going to be checking out this mystery iMac here. And like I said in the intro, I picked it up for 50 bucks. There were a couple pictures on it. It looked awfully dusty. There is some paint specs on here. The owner said that they were remodeling the room that it was sitting in and got some paint splatter on it. That should clean off pretty easily. But some of the pictures that I saw had it at this angle here. And you can see that we've got the very thin line here. So I'm guessing that starts at a 2012. So it may be a 2012, 13, or 14. It's definitely the 21 and a half inch, not the 27 inch. But other than that, I don't know anything about it. So what we're going to do, we're going to power this thing up, hook up a mouse and keyboard, see if it boots. If it does, we'll see um, if there's actually a password there or not. If there's a password there, then I'll probably just grab a Mac OS installer and just reformat the hard drive, put brand new operating system on there, and then go from there. So first step, let's actually plug it in, see if it powers on. All right, so in the process of paying the 50 bucks for it and picking it up, it actually came with this right here, which is a 45 watt uh, MagSafe 2 charger. Probably came from a older MacBook Air. And I've definitely got plenty of laptops around here that can use that. So worst case scenario, if this thing doesn't work at all, then at least I've got a new charger with, uh, with no cat chew marks on it. Now there are some, some cat chew marks on this power cord, um, but nothing that is too concerning. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this power button and see what happens. And at least we've got a good sound coming out of it. And we've got an Apple logo and it's got a hard drive in there. So if it didn't have a hard drive, it'd probably be flashing a little question mark right now, but it looks like it's booting up. All right, so it is booting up to a little newer operating system than what I was expecting. I don't have this one memorized offhand to know what it is. And there are two uh, users here and it looks like that one needs a password. This one needs a password. So unless it's just enter, nope, didn't look at it on that one. And I'm 0 for 2. So let's go grab a thumb drive and we'll take care of this operating system. All right, so I'm probably going to take advantage of my little carabiner of awesomeness here. I've got seven different thumb drives, different versions of Mac OS. But without knowing what year this is, I can't really take a guess at what the highest operating system it can go in. So instead of throwing in something like High Sierra and having to upgrade it later, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go into recovery mode on this and then see if it tells me in recovery mode what version of operating system is on there and then I'll just go ahead and throw that one on there. So let's boot this thing up and try to get into recovery mode. All right, so we got into recovery mode here and we've got the option of reinstalling Mac OS. So let's click on that let's see if it tells us what it wants to reinstall. So it is High Sierra. And I thought it was a little bit higher than that. But if this is a 2012, I believe they can go up to uh, Catalina. And I think the 2013 also. If it's a 2014, we can bring it all the way up to uh, Big Sur, I think. So I think just, uh, just to make sure, I think I might just go ahead and throw High Sierra back on here. And uh, see if it will reinstall right from the recovery drive here. And that, if so, that may be the quickest to get it on and then find out what model this is and then we'll go from there. So let's see what we can do here. So it said it couldn't reach the recovery server. And that's because it's not hooked up to the internet, of course. So let me go ahead and plug in an ethernet cable, give it some internet, and then I'll try that again. All right, so it still said it couldn't reach the recovery server and that's kind of a problem that's going on lately with Apple uh, possibly shutting off some of the servers for their older software. So it looks like I'm going to go 
and grab one of these guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with Ventura and load that up and see if it goes onto the hard drive. So while I'm in here, I'm going to go into the disk utility and I'm going to go to the Mac hard drive here, which looks like it may be a one terabyte drive. So that's nice, but it is a SATA spinning disk, not a SSD. I could tell that already from the speed that it was running at. But I'm going to go ahead and show all devices here. Get this Apple HDD, erase it, give it a new name here. I'm going to switch to APFS. I think that's the right one. And this should be good. So let's go ahead and erase that. And get that drive all fresh and ready to go for this boot drive. All right, and it's all done. So let's shut this down. I'll plug in my boot drive and we'll go from there. All right, so I said Ventura, but what I meant was Catalina. Catalina is the least common denominator of all three of the models that it may be. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up. I'm going to hold down the option key and see if it gives me an option to boot from that boot disk. And there we go. So I've got an option to install Mac OS Catalina. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I already used disk utility to format that drive. So I'm just going to go straight to install Mac. And here is Catalina. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and I'm going to step all the way through it and I'll meet you back when I get all the way to the desktop. All right, so here we are. It took a while because it's got a slow disk inside there, but we got it done. So let's go ahead and do the moment of truth here. Let's see what this Mac is. And it's actually a 2013. So not a huge difference from the 2012, a little bit faster, but I'll take it for sure. It would have been nice if it was a 14, but I'll take a 13. And it looks like we got eight gigs of memory. We've got that one terabyte drive. Got two fours in there, so we can actually put two eights in here and make it 16 gigs, make it run a little bit quicker, and that's an easy upgrade. We can also upgrade this storage drive here. That's not quite as easy of an upgrade. You gotta take the screen off and get that old disc out of there, put a new one in there. So I may check out to see what the kit for that costs these days. May not be worth it. I may just uh, go ahead and put this one back on Facebook Marketplace and let somebody get a hold of a nice, good, working, fresh, installed mac os computer here so i think that's going to do it for this one if you want to see any of the upgrades on this go ahead and let me know down in the comments below and maybe i'll make a video about doing some upgrades on this thing i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you got something out of it if you did i appreciate that thumbs up go ahead and check out the rest of the channel lots of mac stuff there lots of other geeky stuff there and uh stick around and subscribe if you want to but that's going to wrap it up for this one i thank you as always for watching and until next time peace out and geek out